Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this is your Mama Abigail and today's vlog I am going to share to you about my experience during my interview at the US Embassy and um, I'm also going to share to you what are the requirements that I had um, during that time. So, ito pala guys yung mga requirements na dinala ko during my interview. Um, first one is the 2 by 2 picture. Second is the passport original. Um, the DS-260 yung my barcode. And um, birth certificate original. Marriage certificate original. Advisory of marriage original. NBI clearance original. And the interview confirmation. And... Ito naman yung sa aking petitioner. Um, original copy of birth certificate. Original copy of advisor of marriage. Photocopy of passport bio page. Affidavit of support. Original. And then letter of explanation for not filing taxes. Kasi hindi kami nag-file ng tax last 2019 and 2020. And uh, 4868 automatic extension to file income tax. So, binigyan ng extension ng aking husband. And also, his pay stub for 2020, his W-2 from 2017 to 2020, and his 1040 for 2020. And since meron akong um, joint sponsor, ito po yung copy ng um, requirements na aking dinala. So, photocopy of his passport bio page, photocopy of his driver's license, Photocopy of his birth certificate. Original copy of um, affidavit of support. His IRS and um, his 1040 starting 2018 to 2020. By the way, guys, lahat po yun naka-upload sa online. So, um, kumpleto po lahat ng requirements na aking dinala dahil hindi na po ako hinanapan ng aking konsul. So guys, um, 30 minutes before my interview, ando na po ako sa U.S. Embassy. And I also brought my daughter and my husband. Pero dun lang po yung husband ko sa labas dahil hindi pwede yung petitioner sa loob. Dahil nga po, um, limited lang yung pwedeng pumasok sa loob. So sinama ko yung aking baby dahil breastfeeding ako and ayokong magutom siya dahil maghahanap siya ng mimi. So, um... At the press screening, here are the questions that she asked me. So, I was at the window 45. She was very nice. She was kind. And um, this is her first question. What, what is my full name? What is your husband's name? When did you and your husband uh, meet? How did you meet? Who is your joint sponsor? When did you get married? Where is your husband? And how long is he staying in the Philippines? Kasi nandito yung husband ko sa Philippines for 8 months. And then, is this you and your husband first marriage? And she also asked me if our daughter is our first child or only child. And then, she asked me if I work outside the country. So after those questions, after niya ma-fix yung aking um, papers, um, she asked me to move to the other window, which is the window 50 or 51. Um, for the fingerprints. So after that, she asked me to wait for the interview, final interview. So I waited for like more than 30 minutes before my interview or final interview kasi madami in interview that time. And I think inauna nila yung my appointment for 6.30 a.m. kasi 6.45 a.m. ako. So, ayun. Um, here are the questions that the consul asked me. And I was at the window 62. Um, he's actually nice. He's a, he's a kind consul and um, he always smile. So the first question that he asked me is, what is my name? What is your husband's name? Who is your joint sponsor? And did you ever work outside of the country? When did you meet and your husband and how? When is your birthday? When did you get married? When is your daughter's birthday and he asked me if my daughter has already a passport or u.s passport 
and also where are you gonna stay in US and um, does your husband has his own house and your fa father-in-law has his own house too or do they live on the same house so after niya ako tanungin ng mga questions na yon, told me na ibabalik niya yung mga documents na binigay ko sa kanya. So he's just going to get my passport. And he told me congratulations dahil um, approve ang aking visa and he told me welcome to United States. So ayun na nga guys, nung time na yun na sinabi niyang approve ako, super super kinabahan talaga ako ng grades. So ayun na nga guys, I'm really happy and grateful na ako po ay approve sa aking um US visa interview dahil we've been waiting for this for like two years and talagang stressful siya, hindi may iwasan na hindi ka mag-isip, hindi may iwasan na hindi ka mag-worry, hindi may iwasan na hindi ka umiyak, kakaisip kung ano nang nangyari sa process ng iyong visa. But thank you Lord kasi um, approved na ako and we are going to United States soon. So Thank you so much to all the people, especially sa aking group chat, sa messenger, dahil um, napakalaking tulong niyo po for me, especially um, wala akong idea about this, um, about the process, and um, because of you guys, you helped me how to, you know, how to do it, and um, how to do some stuff, and um, you really made my visa journey easy because I met a lot of people and friends. So thank you guys. And um, thank you to Shasha because we were interviewed on the same day and she stayed with me kahit tapos na yung interview niya. So thank you so much, sis, because you waited for me kahit nagantay ka ng almost an hour. So ayun na nga guys. Um, para sa mga nagantay ng inyong visa interview, um, keep praying and always remember that God is with you. He's not gonna leave you nor forsake you and um, always trust By God. By the way, don't forget to like, share, subscribe, and click the notification bell below for more videos. So, thank you guys. Don't forget that Jesus loves you. And if you have questions kung saan nyo po isasend yung um, email for your schedule sa interview, Especially if nag under sputum test po kayo. And ilalagay ko po sa description box below yung links na pwede nyo pong isend yung inyong mga email for scheduling your interview. So guys, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye! Say I love you!